everyone. I'm super excited to be talking to Austin Cleon uh, today, best-selling New York Times author um, of uh, Steel Like an Artist is one of his books, Show Your, Show Your Work and Keep Going. Uh, these are amazing, amazing books. Um, but uh, Austin describes himself as a, uh, as a writer who draws, which I love, 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 because I'm, I'm totally visual. Um, I love words, but I love the combination of them. And, and so today I'm, we're in conversation here and, and I'm kind of interested in, in what I've been dealing with and helping a lot of people, what's coming up a lot, probably because of the pandemic, is, is about confidence and, and just challenging with that. And you speak about a lot. I just thought maybe we could roll that around and, and get your hit on how you stay confident and what you, how you help artists do this, whether they're writers or any, any kind of artist. I try to remind myself that confidence is a con. <laughs> that most confidence is, is you know, I, for me, I think that confidence in art is a little overrated, first of all. Um, certainly you're confident. I, I think a couple, I, I think a couple of things. I wonder if people should worry about confidence at all. What I worry about is am I exploring something that's genuinely interesting to me in terms of am I, when I sit down to make art, for example, I'm not confident that I'll come up with something great. What I'm confident in is the process of coming to my materials with ample time, scheduled ample time and a decent space and that in the interaction with the materials, I will discover something that by playing with my materials, whether it's pushing words around on a, on a word processor, cutting up magazines, um, taking a marker to newsprint or, you, you know, drawing or whatever it is that through the interaction of the materials that my hands will tell my brain as much as my brain tells my hands. And that there is a kind of magic that happens every time you sit down to do work where if you aren't totally sure of where you're going but you, and you let yourself be taken for a ride, you'll get to some place different than what you even thought in the first place. Sometimes it'll be worse. Sometimes it'll be worlds better, right? But to have confidence, not that you'll come up with something great, but that there is a magic to the process of sitting down with the time, space, and materials and letting your head, your heart, and your hands work together. Right. right? And so, setting that up, setting that, those conditions up, it's kind of like, you know, baking a cake. It's not scary to like go shopping for the materials. Our fear is that we're going to make a dud and we're going to serve this yeah. cake and no one's going to like it, but don't even go there is what you're saying. Sometimes it's not up to you, you know, because it's not like following a recipe. You know, it's not like, well, if I put all these, if I create all these conditions, because our, there, there's never that certainty ever. Um, you know, with baking, if you can keep an even temperature, if you can put the right ingredients in there with the right amounts, there's a pretty good chance that that recipe is going to turn out. Art, you know, there's not really a recipe for it. You know, you can sort of have the materials and all the conditions, but there's something, there's something that makes it art beyond the recipe, yeah. right? That we're all looking for. So for me, it's just a matter of, I, I sort of am working on this. For me, it's like having these elements. When my head is fed, when my heart is full, when my hands are busy, and then when I have uninterrupted scheduled time, and inviting space and the appropriate materials. That's when the work happens. And what I mean by having a head that's fed, that means that I've been reading a lot or I've been looking a lot, I've been thinking a lot, I've been digesting a lot of stuff. My heart, you know, I've been in the right place. I've been around the right people. You know, I'm, 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 I've got the right kind of spirit of things. That's so and, cool to just divide it up into, those are like the, you know, just, just the main buckets of like, you know, head, heart, and, and I love the busyness of the hands because that's just what they want to do. It doesn't even matter what, what it is, just get going, yeah. you know? And I should say that I stole those elements from, um, when I was growing up, my dad was a 4-H agent and 4-H um, is this kind of youth organization where um, 
uh, kids take projects to like the county fair and stuff. If you're a rural person, you, you understand it a little bit more. Um, but the motto for 4-H was, I pledge my head to clear thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living. Health was kind of tacked on there. So, but for me, it's the head, the heart, and the hands. John Ruskin said that. Uh, David Hockney says that. He says the head, you need the eye, the heart, and the hand. One won't do, you know. Uh-huh. But for me, there's that. Those are sort of the internal. Those are like the 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 bodily conditions. But then you you need the time, space, and materials to make and things. Do you happen. feel like? Do you feel like? Um, I mean, you've got kids, and and you're. I mean, I see how much you do. You're, you know, you and I share this thing of like you got a lot going on, but. Like if I have 20 minutes, that's enough for me. Like 20 yeah. minutes. Do you do you take little chunks of time and those you just use those or <laughs> I take what I can get. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like what uh it's weird because my career being a full-time writer, I've never been a full-time writer without kids. Uh my my book Still Like an Artist kind of took off and my son Owen came like maybe six months after that. So I really haven't had any time as a full-time writer when I didn't have children. So I've sort of trained myself to take any spare moment. A lot of my work happens at the kitchen table. You know, a lot of my, um, you know, a lot of it's in between moments. Um, it, and you just gotta just, grab them, you know, you, you just have gotta to, grab yeah. them. Yeah, and it helps that a lot of my work doesn't require, you know, I have a, I have a very good friend named John Unger who does these wonderful, sculptures and he's working with metal all the time and he needs a lot of space and and he's got tons and tons of materials you know he requires different conditions than i do when i work and we often are you know we get envious of each other because i look at what he does and it's so physical and it's like out in the air and he's like in his barn like you know and he's looking at me like you mean i could just sit at the kitchen table with a cup of coffee and do this stuff you know so it's like um everyone needs different conditions yeah for their work and i love it when someone an artist makes a giant thing like i've never done that like i i really want to do like the side of a building you know i I haven't been able to do that yet but i get it you know i just think there you know i think that's the other thing about art is some people work in miniature and some people work on a big large scale you know i'm just someone who miniature thinking in terms of a page. And I think that's because I'm a writer too, is I think about things that can fit on pages, you know, and, yeah. and that's sort of how I work. Now I've done some big prints before, but they still look, feel like a page. You know? uh-huh. <laughs> they just feel like a big page. Yeah. When they're up on the wall. So, yeah. But I, I like, you know, this idea where you view just, <clears throat> I like the, the, the word applied insight, you know, like, it's in the doing, you know, that that your problems can be maybe not solved, but they can be, you can medicate yourself by just getting your hands busy, just starting the damn thing. And even if it's, you're gonna build a, you know, a 20 foot skyscraper piece of art, plan it on a piece of paper, you know, do that napkin, whatever. It's just as fun to start that way, you know? I had a great, you know, I worked in advertising for a while and I had, I learned a lot of things from advertising, but one of the things I really learned from a creative director of mine, he just said, you know, just don't think too much. He's like, make things like make, make things as quickly as you can. So he would encourage me to, if I was working on like a client project, he's like, make a prototype as, as fast as you can try to get the ideas into some sort of like material immediately and so that might be like you know i used to put like websites into powerpoint i would like make fake websites in powerpoint you click the slides and it would take you through the website you know just like silly things like that or or just making things out of paper sketches making things as quick as you can eliminating that time between the thought and some sort of uh handcraft or, or or making because I truly believe in that, that the hands can tell the head as much as the head can tell the hands. It's like get in motion, you know. As quickly as possible, yeah. you know, to be in motion. And, and because inertia is a real thing. Yes. Uh, um, 
you know, it's hard to get going when you're not going. It's easy to keep going if you're go already going. <laughs> I always say that, yeah. like, the less you do, the less you do. The, le the yeah. Universe, the more you do, the more you do. You want to keep in it, you know, keep yeah. touching you, touching I, you. I'm a deeply lazy person, you know, so I, I have to battle this constantly because, you know, for me, it's like, I'd much rather lay around and read a book than write or make art. A lot yeah, but of that's days. feeding your head too. That's preparation. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. And I, you know, people ask me that a lot. They say, well, how do you know when you're working and when you're just, you know, how do you, what, you know, what's your work-life balance? And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> there is, there is none. <laughs> like, you know, my, my, my family will tell you that, <laughs> you know, everyone, anyone who's ever lived with a writer knows what it's like to be at the dinner table and they just kind of glaze over and they're somewhere else. You know? It's uh, it's kind of a 24 hour a day thing for me. You know? Yeah, it's, no, totally. You know, and that's the, I think that's the price of doing what you love for a living. I mean, you know, it's all yeah. day and it never ends. So well, it's like your art and your life. Your art is just a process of living your life. Yeah. They're, they're completely interwoven, you totally. know, yeah. Listen, thanks so much for being here. Uh, this is this is really great. So, uh, you know, get in motion, folks, and, and get it going. Uh, really, really uh, st super strong uh, idea and this is such a great reminder. Um, Austin has some incredible uh, offerings at Austin. There's a link down below, um, austincleon.com. He's got this incredible newsletter, you guys. I mean, you just feel like it, the only thing about your newsletter is when you get it, you just you just wish you had more time to find and experience all the cool things you got to experience during the week. I mean, everything we're talking about, you know, he's watching an owl right now with the books and the and the links and the toys. And the, I mean, it's just all <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's such a great deep dive. So thank you for that. But definitely you guys subscribe to that. Um, also, we're going to be choosing someone for the comments. We're going to be um, uh, giving out um, some of the three sets of these books. Uh, Keep Going, his uh, latest book, uh, Show Your Work and Steal Like an Artist. So we'll be uh, choosing some. So leave an awesome comment. Maybe we can uh, convince Austin to come back and uh, comment on those. But we'll be giving that away next week. So thanks again, Austin. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great, let's do this.